Joel. Give me my dog. <laughs> ah, perfection. Uh, for sale? Say it ain't so, Joe. You can't sell your card. Oh, where will I go for such delectable dogs? Such terrific tube steaks. Such wondrous wieners. Well, I don't know. I guess you'll have to settle for Wiener Wallies. Huh, I'll never eat at Wallies. He's the guy who put the worst in Bratwurst. Yuck! I've got it. I'll buy your cart. Okay, but you know it's gonna cost you 500 bucks. 500 bucks? Hmm. Aha! Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh, hmm. Plenty of room. Wow, a heated pool. I'll take it. Hmm. What's this going on here? <laughs> I've forgotten more about selling Wieners than that boat hacker will ever know. Oh, eh, I would like to buy a hot dog, please. Coming right up. That's one for you, and one for me. <laughs> okay, so that's just one customer. And that's one too many. Hey, mister, can I get a dog, please? That's one for you, and two for me. Zwerg, <laughs> that does it. My corner, Bootpecker! You know, I get the distinct feeling someone doesn't want me around. Moo -doo 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 -doo. Come back soon. Yeah. Over here! Over here! I've got just one thing to say. That's my corner! <laughs> that should fix that woodpecker, you bet. Why for you bury me, wiener boy? Guess who? <laughs> <laughs> Want a weenie war? You got a weenie war, woodpecker! You'll never sell hot dogs on my corner, wiener boy! This is the best hot dog mix I've ever tasted. Oh, my aching meatball. <laughs> 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 
you, you woodpecker. Look what you done. I'll get you. <laughs> boys, boys, break it up. With your new hot dog mix and my investment capital, we can make millions. Way to be signed. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm the boss. Will, will I get my hands on you? You no, come here, you, you. I'm the boss, and I say no work today. Oh boy! Woo! The tube steak terrorist, you won't ruin my chance to make millions. Ah, go on with you. Give me your best shot. Bet you can't hit me with hot dogs. Oh, yeah. Then take that, and that, and those, and those too, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> If we're gonna be partners, you're gonna have to work faster than that, wiener boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new improved, not recently sued, Fizzle Electric Blanket 2000. So hot, it can cook breakfast in bed. Breakfast not included. Fizzle Electric Blanket 2000, not to be used by the sick, elderly, pregnant, bipedal, etc., 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 etc. Do you look good in floral print shirts and harem pants? Sure we all do. So why not warm yourself on the most beautiful beaches in the world? Visit these tropical islands. You can hang ten or dive for pearls. The local government won't let you keep anything you find. But it's just good, clean fun to hold your breath till your lungs almost burst and then get the vents from coming up too fast. The islands are a perfect place to return to your primal self. Explore. Stuff your belly, then sit back and let the UV rays saturate your brain. Get that golden brown tan you've always wanted. You'll be looking good and living life the tropical way. Still not hot enough? Same old meat substitute? Here's a tip. All you need to make this into a succulent meal is one ingredient. Finally, I can entertain some chums with a proper dinner party. And that secret ingredient is... Hmm, peculiar little character. <laughs> Finally uncovers the plot to sink Bowen Island. Diane, the madman behind all of this is... That boy's more aggravating than a bad case of shingles. And this is how you hula! A wiki 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 wiki! Such a polite little fella. Hold on just an ice picking minute. Yeah. 
Looks like Christmas is coming early this year. Oh, ain't he as cute as a bug's ear? I'll just take him to his home and let him rest up. And now, our afternoon movie, Frigid Winter. Frigid Winter? That got a five ice cube rating. Sakes alive. They just don't make them winter pictures like they used to. Huh? Now this here is the flake that broke the snowman's back. This berg ain't big enough for the both of us, penguin. What's he waving for? That really shaves my eyes. Y'all catch my drift? Tropical and Tropical, Lipodancing White House pages. Tonight, we reveal the answer to one of life's greatest mysteries. Are we alone in the universe? Do UFOs exist? Professor Smith, do UFOs exist? As a gentleman, this shouldn't bother me. <laughs> That's the problem with penguin meat. It runs right through you. It's almost time for the lotto drawing. And tonight's South Pole Lotto is worth $40 billion. You could buy a lot of fun in the sun with that money. But this will be your only announcement. You snooze, you lose. 14, 22, 64, 93, 56, 71. And the final number is... The vacation getaway of a lifetime! Only one thing a grown dog can do at a time like this. <laughs> No excuses, Woody. You're way behind in your pecking. I'll be back later to check up on you. Now get pecking, pecking, pecking. Oh, no. I'm 5,000 pickles behind. She'll demote me to a chigger this time for sure. Unless... This here's the Uber Termite. Genetically created in my lab for... Apparently, for efficiency and ferocity. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I call him Lester. What are you looking at, you red coated pig farmer? Oh boy, I'll take him. All right, Lester. Go on out there and put some holes in those trees before Mother Nature gets here. Holes? Holes are for golfers and lose the woodpecking. <laughs> you had better start cooperating, mister, or else. No, not the smelly shoe! I only want holes in the trees, not the whole tree gone. Oh, what are you, my father? Ah! 
If he keeps this up, I won't have a forest for Mother Nature to inspect. Uh-uh-uh. Here you go. This will help you make little teeny pecking holes. Like a woodpecker. Now the only sound I want to hear is this. Yes, sir. That little guy is going to make my life so easy. I said, little teeny pecks, like a woodpecker. Learn from the master. First, pick out a tasty spot. Next, aim. Then do what woodpeckers do a best. Junior's got a bad attitude. I can see I'm going to have to keep you on a short leash. A little peck, then move on. Now a peck of that tree. And take a peck of that one. A fight might a termite bite if a termite could not bite. Paint is just a ticket. I'll trick that termite out of here. Then I'll paint the forest back before Mother Nature even gets here. Nice job, Picasso, but uh, where's your house? My what? Huh? What? Hmm. Why, it's right over here. Thanks, big guy. trees. Bam! These vigor growth seeds should do the trick. Woodpecker's trees. Uh, he said then I did the holes, the trees with the doctor and the thing. Get home! Now! <laughs> 6,607, 6,608? Well, it looks like that little woodpecker finally did some work. But you, Mr. Termite? Why haven't you met your quota? I... No excuses! Start munching that bark, or I'll demote you to a chicken! Now! But I'm... Let's move it, move it, move it! I mean it, you loafer! Please, listen! Get busy! Wait, I'm not who you think! Let me explain! 
Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> is a vacation. Hello, travel agency? I'd like to book a vacation, preferably somewhere warm. I've saved my whole life for this trip, so money is no object. You heard me, a nice long holiday. What a swell setup. Hello, friend. You look like you could use a vacation. Who are you? Point Buzzy, traveling vacation salesman. Glad to know ya, chum. Glad to know ya. Yes, sir. You have just won a free vacation to the Joyman Polynesian Islands. With a one-time processing fee of $5,000, you will be well on your way to the island vacation of your dreams. Hmm. German Polynesian, eh? Well, how come I never heard of them? Why, uh, that's because uh, it's an island and they don't have any phones. It, it keeps away the riffraff. How quaintly rustic. Well, I have to think about it. There'll be girls, sport. Aw, oh, go on with you. Not just any girls, chum. Hula frows. Hula frows? What's a hula frow? <laughs> Woo -hoo! There's just the business of the five grand. Then you're good to go. Hula frows, here I come. Okay, let's get this crate off the ground. Please, don't annoy the pilot there in take one. This I gotta see. Contact! Buzz to ground control. We are experiencing turbulence. Mayday! Mayday! Geronimo! Join us now for thrilling tropical high dive spear fishing in our exotic fish tank. So long, sucker! Look what I caught! Oh, swell. And guess what? For a hundred bucks more, those can be cooked up in a customized culinary concoction by our very own Chef F.E. New. Chef F.E. New? Yeah, if he knew you were coming, he'd have baked a cake. Hmm. Hey, you. Where's this so-called luau? What luau? This luau. The one with the hula frows. Right this way, my good fella. <laughs> Hula frows. <laughs> so long, sap. <laughs> nah, that's silly. <laughs> Surf's up, Wahini Schnitzel. <laughs> What's going on in there? Sorry, invitation only. Oh boy, the 
the song, the thrills, the hula frows. What a luau! And I owe it all to you, pal. This is the best vacation I've ever had in my life. Wait a minute. There ain't no luau. There ain't no vacation. And I'll prove it. But... Taking over this vacation. Oh, yeah? Well, I paid for it. There's your money back. Deal's off. Now get lost. I'll report you to the German Polynesian Travel Bureau. German Polynesian? <laughs> you go ahead and do that, chum. I made it all up. There ain't no such a thing. <laughs> German Polynesian Travel Bureau? I'd like to report someone. Yo! Yeah, some buzzard tried to sell me a scam vacation. Hula frows here, I come. Crowbar, Jack, the, the dynamite. What am I gonna get next? How about five to ten in the pokey? No! <laughs> Dr. Rachel, I... I can't hide it anymore. I think it's time I told you how I feel about you. Tune in next week to see the dramatic conclusion on Woodpeck ER. Wow! The medical field is so exciting. The action, the drama. Nurse Winnie to emergency. No, Dr. Winnie to brain sir. No, no, Chief of Staff Winnie to the OR. Stat! I'm gonna find out about a career in medicine today. Uh, but, boss, I'm so close. All I need is a proper subject to clone. Well, don't worry, boss. I'm on top of it. Yeah, I'm a dead man. If I don't find a subject to clone right away, I'm washed up. Finished! Where, oh, where will I find a volunteer? Huh? Hi! I want to work here. What are the odds? It's Winnie Woodpecker, and I'd like to become... That's fine, that's fine. If you'll just step into my lab, we'll run a few tests. <laughs> All right, listen up. This is a precise scientific instrument designed for only one purpose. Of course, <clears throat> I wouldn't expect a layman to understand. Why, no, sir. How could a layman be expected to know about a linear instrument designed to test the effect of the harmonic resonance on the rhombic area with an emphasis on the cordial nerve group? All right, then, let's get started. Huh? Hmm. Oh? Oh. oh, doctor! My first medical emergency! Oh. Test complete, Doc. Am I ready to work in the ER? Uh, let's move on to another test, shall we? This test will measure your brain activity and IQ. Please answer all my questions as quickly as possible. Ready? Ready! What is two plus two? Four. What's the definition of plethora? A lot. What is mitosis? The division of a cell nucleus. What is the, the Ptolemaic system? system. Of Ptolemy in which the Earth is at the center of the universe. How did you get that so fast? Is this giving you the answers? Give me that. Now, ask me a question. Go ahead, ask me. Mm, what does that lever do? This lever. <laughs> Dangerous. Uh, Doctor, this will be perfect training 
wondering if I decide to go into the physical therapy department. Just keep running. I have to find out if you're a good enough subject to clone. What did you say? I, 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 I said phone, phone. I have to test your hearing on the phone. Woodpeck ER. As I always say, when in doubt, improvise. <laughs> That's inflation for ya. Yes, another medical miracle performed by Winnie Woodpecker. Oh. Oh. Ooh, when can I use these, Doctor? Just get behind the machine. All right, Winnie, this should be painless. Winnie! Oh, I knew I should have finished medical school. Huh? I'm ready for my close-up, Doctor. <gasps> I, 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 I exam. That's it. I exam. Please read the top line. You. No, you read it. I? <sighs> yes, you. Now go ahead. Why? Because I said, okay? Okay. Oh, never mind. Let's do a cat scan and see what's going on in that head of yours. Oh, no, doctor. I'm allergic to cats. There's no cat here. That's just what it's called. A cat scan. But I sneeze, swell up, and itch all over. Look, CAT stands for Computer Axial Tomography. There is no feline in this machine. I'll prove it to you. <laughs> Doctor, now that you see I can handle any emergency situation that arises, what department will I be working in? Emergency room? ER? Recovery? Operating theater? Whatever we do had better be in a hurry. <laughs> After all, my time is valuable and uh... Nothing! Nowhere! <gasps> I want you out of this hospital! Well, I'm not so sure I even want to work in a hospital that has the likes of you on the staff. Harsh words, but a doctor has to assert herself. I'm going all the way to the top, Doctor. That's not the elevator! Oh, I'll be blamed for everything! I gotta get out of here! Oh, no you don't, Doctor! You're not well enough to leave our care! Dr. Winnie Woodpecker, meet Nurse Winnie in the OR! Ah! Hello, Hello, Nurse Winnie! Who's your friend? He doesn't look well. Right this way, Daddy Boy. <laughs> in order to work in a hospital, you've got to have patience. season. Just me, the TV, and all the snacks I can eat. Yes, it's a great day for an exciting game of badminton. They got the bad part right. Hey, it's a fine day for the healing games. I love the healing games. Better stock up on some more munchies. Now, where are my haggis-flavored pork rinds? This concludes our free preview. If you want to see the Halen games, call your local cable service and pay up today. No! Me Halen game! <laughs> Come.
Congratulations, Mr. Walrus. You're an official cable subscriber. Yippee dippee. I uh, get a bonus for any referrals, Mr. Walrus. Maybe you could have some friends over to enjoy the Highland Games. Did you say Highland Games? <laughs> No Highland games for me. Yours the Swedish channel, yeah. Hey, buddy, can you put your cable on sale for a true Scottish patriot? The Highland games are the pride of me people. Wait, I've watched them since I was a wee scraper of a twig pecker. No discounts on my watch, Red. You pay full price like everybody else. Only two hours till the games. And I can't afford full price. I need cable. Oh, yoy. The Swedish channel. Hmm? Excuse me, Mr. Walrus, but we forgot one crucial part of your cable. The black box. All righty then, Mr. W. We'll phone you from the cable office. You tell us when your parabolic receiver is giving you the best reception. Hello? Okay, Mr. W. I just need you to scan through the channels and stop on 47. Stop right there. And, uh, could you turn up the volume? Now, don't move for, say, oh, a week while we make some very technical adjustments. Just doing a service check, Mr. Walrus. How's your cable service going, huh? The cable's still not coming in. What? Just, uh, <laughs> sampling. Woodpecker! It's a federal offense to impersonate a man at a cable. I'll be keeping a sharp eye on you, Red. That cable service is licensed to Mr. Walrus's TV and his TV only. Hmm. If the cable's wired to Wally's TV, that's just okie dokie with me. <laughs> Yeah. Neighbors should share and share alike. Welcome to the Swedish channel's Cooking with Meatballs, followed by the hit game show, Oh Boy, Who Wants a Green Card? <laughs> Today's recipe is entitled Cooking with Plutonium. We will make the average wiener dog into the uber wiener dog. First, we must boil the water, but not just any water. Swedish Fjord Bottled Water. Available for a short time only to you, Swedish Channel viewers, for only $30 a month. Call the number on your screen and order now. Now, pour two cups of Swedish Fjord Water into the pan and bring it to a bowl. Next, Ooh, look! The alphabet's in my super spelling out a message. Don't hit the good-looking woodpecker. Such flavorful yoy from such a small I've gotta watch the games. Wait a minute. The cable is registered to Wally, so the cable can only be watched in Wally's house. Not a problem. <laughs> hmm, this is odd. <laughs> Today's simulcast will cover all sorts of events from the. This is yours. <laughs> 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 Forget cable. Satellite is the best reception on the planet. Three, two, one. And the best part is, it's free. <laughs> now I'll never get to watch the Highland Games. You're under arrest for violation of airspace, violation of international satellite treaties, violation of local and federal zoning laws, and for generally having an all-out bad idea. You can't arrest me. I can't, but he can. Oh, boy. We get the Highland Games. 
The only games in here are chess by mail and a little diversion the boys call, hey, what are you staring at? Now for my version of what are you staring at, the Highland Games. <laughs> Could you at least turn up the volume? <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> This anger business is going to get the best of you if you aren't careful. If you can't control your rage, there's going to be some serious consequences. Rage? Me? Why, Doctor, I'm surprised at you. You know I'm the picture of calmness and serenity. Now that's a step in the right direction. Here's your bill. I mean? <laughs> Let's see what's on the agenda for today. Sleep, 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 more sleep. The Healing Games! <laughs> I've got to relax. Oh. Maybe I'll just take a nap. That'll help me unwind. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I'm getting ready for the healing games. Ugh, you're no Scotsman. You're just a woodpecker. Ah, are you daft in the head, woman? Can't you see me red mane? I'm a woodpecker by birth, but I'm a muckpecker by the grace of God. Well, healing games or no healing games, I have a condition. This is a rooming house, and you know the rules. You have to be quiet. You are aggravating my condition. Can't you see I'm trying to relax? I'll take it outside, lass. Hoot! Tis a bunny Scottish morn. How am I supposed to practice in all this mucky muck? I'll have to practice indoors. <laughs> Practice for the wild card event, wrestling with the Loch Ness monster. What am I gonna use for Nessie? <laughs> hey, you're looking mighty fierce this season, Nessie. But you're no match for a MacPecker. Perhaps a nice cup of tea will soothe my nerves. Huh? What are you doing up there that's taking up all my water pressure? Woohoo! I've got you now, Missy. Now what's going on up there? <laughs> if I wrap the hammer in a towel, It'll only make a wee bit of noise. Are you insane? Not only have you interrupted my rest and destroyed this room, but you're starting to get on my nerves! But, but, the healing games... I don't care! I have to rest! What to do? I've got the train for the border toss. Ah, one heave couldn't harm anyone. Who's gonna notice one toss? Yeah. Yeah. 
my patience. I'm not going to tell you again to be quiet. You are aggravating my condition! Oh, dear. My condition. I have to call the doctor! Now, just calm down. I can't take this anymore! When you feel yourself getting aggravated, just count to ten. Oh, to ten! I left me caber back in me gym locker. I'm a disgrace to me clan. What am I to do now? There's a gift from the gods. Now, counting is very relaxing, Meanie. Go ahead. Try it. Okay. Here goes. One. <laughs> two. Three. What have I done? I'll be kicked out of the clan for sure. Ugh. What a mess we got here. She's wired up all wrong. I'll just use a little bit packer know-how. We'll just wear the childhood memories into the anger. By the grip in my ear, that ought to do her. Tis a great sight indeed. Good as new. Crazy McPecker is at it again! This time I'll show no mercy! This time I'll... <laughs> Happy, good one, aboard my ship 20 years ago. Well, sir, we just made a big haul of bluefin tuna. Now, polar bears like fish, so do little penguins. Baby cradle and all. Rock a baby on the tree top, pistol blows, cradle of rock, when the double eight, cradle of a fall, and I will get baby cradle at all. Thank <laughs> you. 
a baby and three dogs, but a window, a cradle of rock, but a baby, a cradle of fall, and a baby, a cradle of no. Fuck a baby and treat off, but a window, a cradle of rock, but a baby, a cradle of fall, and a baby, a cradle of no. for lessons. No, no, I'm here to tell you that you've been inducted into the <laughs> Flying Hall of Fame. At long last, my boyhood dream comes true. So long, propeller head. In no time at all, I'll 
have Winnie begging to buy her big screen TV back. But of course, you knew that, didn't you? Wings, Bender, House, and Hosen Flausen has moved. Just follow the arrows to new location. Oh, my. Ew. Wings? Wings, Bender, House, and Hosen Flausen? I'm all that. Yum! Wings! Banderhausen, Hosen, Flausen. Ace. Flying Ace. But of course, you knew that, didn't you? I want to learn to fly! Oh, you want to fly! Isn't that modern of you? <laughs> Here is a plane for you. <laughs> Hey, you'll see, I'm a very quick study. Well then, quickly a study my instructional home video. It's best viewed on, say, a large screen TV. Uh, I'm more of a hands-on kind of girl. Come on! What's this do, Wings? Oh, it is to test the uh, G-forces. <laughs> More G's? Uh, <laughs> More G's? Uh, no, Pat. I like to solve the puzzle. I'll have Winnie begging to go home and watch TV in no time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mi amor. Now that you have survived the G-forces, let's see how you handle the parachute. <laughs> Why don't you just go home and watch some TV? <laughs> flying ace, huh? <laughs> More like flying disgrace. All right, Woody. I'm going to call you a bluff. I'm going to make you earn your wings or fly trial. Mr. Vanderhausen, Hosen, Flausen? Uh, is this the right button? <laughs> Winnie, what are you doing? Why, I'm flying! I'm flying! Help! Pull the brake! Is this the brake? TV, Woody. Winnie, you still have the money. Let's go buy your big screen TV back now, please. No way, Woody. We're using it next Saturday for shark cage diving. 